బట్లర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ మీ బీ నో ఇష్యూస్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ చార్ట్ అనాలిసిస్ వాట్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ ఫర్ బేసిక్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఐ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఫ్యూ బేసిక్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ మోర్ సఫిషియంట్ టు డూ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ అండ్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ట్రేడింగ్ ఓకే సో i prefer there are couple of demat accounts uh, zero the upstock uh, grow icic uh, hdfc different demat accounts are there so whatever the demat account you are going to use it is not an a matter but only thing is that how to get the chart analysis every demat account provides a chart analysis so wherever it is possible i am going to showcase in jiroda uh, the interface is slightly changes in different demat accounts but the concepts are same how to understand the chart how to analyze the chart and those things are common so most of the guys are using uh, jiroda so i am uh, connecting to jiroda account to showcase let me log in so if you have any doubts uh, please uh, let me know so that we can discuss it is not a one to others uh, training session we are going to upskill in stock market by sharing our knowledge hi kasha how are you hi dasha festival over sorry data festival how was the festival i didn't get you festival celebration how was ganesha come again data ganesha ganesha festival you celebrated da huh? oh ganesha festival celebrated uh, shared the status <laughs> oh, okay okay న్యూస్ ఆర్టికల్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ త్రూ హౌ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కమ్ టు అన్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ విచ్ వన్ ఈస్ అ బెటర్ టు ఇన్వెస్ట్ ఓకే Uh, as we are going to do only short term and long term trading so in this short term long term trading there is no possibility not even single rupee loss also there are other techniques in the stock market like intraday options futures commodity different segments are there whatever the segment we are talking about that is a equity segment in equity segment the companies what are the companies are publicly listed publicly listed in the sense they are accepting the investment from the public so they are going to give the shares with a defined value that defined share value will increase based on the goodwill of investors you are booking the profit and someone is going to try to book that means that you are purchasing a share as per goodwill of that respective company that goodwill will keep on increase the base value will remain same base value in the sense whenever the company is accepting investment from public they are going to fix a face value some shares face value will be 1 rupee some shares face value will be 10 rupees like that that face value will be constant 10 rupee share will become 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees why it is based on the goodwill 
based on the trust of the company, based on the assets of the company, based on the growth of the company, that will keep on increase. Okay. So I'm showcasing the chart analysis on Jiro the app. Even Grow app also, whoever using Grow app, let me know. If you are not using Grow app, I'm just going to showcase in Jiroda how to analyze basic chart analysis. So for example, how to select a company, that is the first point. Selecting a company as soon as you are going through oh, different news channels, MSN, Times Now, any newspaper, any news article, if you open on your mobile, you are going to come to know understanding that related articles will keep on pop up in your mobile. Or else you have open uh, MSN, MSN.com, Times, whatever the news you are going to Times now, whatever the news article, you are going to get a information about some company, dividend is there, uh, some business news, you can go through business news, what are the business news available, you can understand uh, what is the company they are talking about. Now you got to know that some company information is available. Times now, latest news, I'm going through that. In this latest news, their business will be there. Business is a relevant information related to our stock market. Any newspaper, business news is a relevant information for our stock market. Or else you can go simply money control, money control app, or Jiroda news, or whatever the trading account you are using, their respective news also, you can go through that. See, for example, here there is a information, wait for the bonds to exit, markets may close in the positive by end of the week. What does it mean? By looking at this information, this is a stock market analyst is providing some information, wait for the bonds to exit. In equity shares, whatever the trading account we are doing, that is short term, long term, we need to go through this particular news and understand which company is the best. First, we need to come to an understanding company. Let's, from this particular news, there are times now, I open up, business news is there. Let me choose one news. <clears throat> Any news, anyone, if you come across, let me know the company. See, for example, Tata Power, Sodisha. This is one news, Tata Power related, Tata Power. Now, Tata Power is good or not? Is it better to invest or not? Hindustan Unilever Farms Committee. This is one business news. Every business news directly or indirectly affect the share price. Some share prices will be a short basis some share prices will be drastically reduces. Based on the business news only, we need to take a call, be there in the market on the respect to investment or better to exit. Okay, I'm going to discuss about that also. See here, big rewards, one is to three, one is to five bonus shares announced, two penny stocks set October as four record date. Even I'm opening this. Penny stocks. What is a bonus shares? By looking at the different news, we are going to come to what is a company. We need to identify first company before going for chart analysis. First, as per the news, one is Tata Power. Second news, Hindustan Lever. Hindustan Unilever. Big news, there are penny stocks. They are talking about two penny stocks. What is that penny stocks? Let me see that. Classic Electricals Limited. One is bonus issue is bonishing one is to five ratio. That means five newly share. See here, one is to five means 
we are going to get if you have one share for every share they are going to give five new shares okay we are going to go through that is it a good or bad to invest it is a right to invest or not everything we are going to see that okay so total companies by the news only i came to know as soon as news is identified there are different tata power hindustan unilever there are two penny stocks identified for my analysis now whatever the dmat account you are using come to dmat account and you will find in every dmat account there will be a watch list watch list is nothing but we are going to monitor how the trend is, how to do chart analysis, everything by adding that company to this particular watch list. If you see in Jiroda, there are one, two, three, four, nearly seven watch lists are there. In each watch list, you can add whatever the companies you come across. I may recommend someone friend recommended to invest in some company you need to have the details the company name once the company information come across you should not invest blindly even close friend also refers close family member also refers doesn't matter whoever refers they are sharing the knowledge it is our responsibility to understand is it a good to invest you are going to invest in a company which is you know your partner or whatever it may be how you are going to invest by the trust how they the sales why the how their product sale market is how their growth factor how many assets are there those are based on that you are going to invest simply you are not going to invest without knowing anything stock market also same thing so let me add in this watch list this watch list i am going to remove here now tata power tata power is added there are as soon as you identify company you will find nsc and bsc the first you analyze the company first of all you understood that some information received related to company now you are going to perform analysis to invest. Now, as soon as I mentioned Tata Power, you are going to get Tata Power NSC, Tata Power BSC. Which one is the best? If you find NSC and BSC, BSC Bombay Stock Exchange, it is the oldest exchange. NSC is a national stock exchange, is the newest. So most of the transactions nowadays happening on NSC. So if you find any company in two places, both stock exchanges, whenever the company coming to the public, public listed company, they are going to place their company investment in both stock exchanges, some companies. Some companies, they will go with NSC or BSC, either one. Whenever you find two placements, NSC and BSC, it is always best to add that NSC one. National Stock Exchange. Don't refer, um, prefer BSC because BSC is a world stock exchange. So more transactions are happening in NSC. More transactions are happening in the sense if you are planning to buy, if you are planning to sell, it is going to happen very fast, very accurate in NSC. And uh, BSC, it is going to take little time because if you are planning to sell Someone should be there to buy. If no, if you are planning to sell, if no buyers are available, no, your investment will be with you only. You cannot sell. Similar way, if you are planning to buy, if no sellers are available, you cannot invest in any company. Without buyers, you cannot invest. So, the shares, whatever the investment you are doing, the, it is simply changing between hands as a good way. Okay. So I'm going to add NSE. Done. NSE is done. Then what next? We identified Hindustan Unilever. Hindustan Unilever. 
see here Hindustani Unilever, it is there, NSE is there, Hindustani Unilever, BSC is there. It doesn't matter as soon as you see here, BSC is there, Hindustan Unilever, NSE is there. So which one is best? NSE is best. I'm adding NSE. Add it. Hindustan Unilever. Next, penny stocks. What is a penny stocks? Classic electricals. I'm going to copy this. I don't know the code. If you don't know the code, just type this classic electricals. See here. Am I getting NSE? I'm not getting NSE for classical electricals. Only BSE is there. It is listed in only Bombay Stock Exchange. No issues. We need to analyze. It is a good, okay, or bad. We need to analyze. Classic electricals added. There are two mentioned, two penny stocks. Shikar leasing and trading bonus issue, one is to three. Let me see that. Shikar leading. Yes. Shaker leasing, see here, the name has come, Shaker leasing and trading. Here also only BSC is there, I'm adding BSC. Now BSC is added, classic electricals added, uh, both are added. And anything else? Let's go with uh, chart analysis. Now I got four companies by doing a business analysis, by understanding trends reference. In our grow channel also, uh, our friends are going to advise uh, this company is going high and that company is going high and all those things. And uh, whenever there is a possibility chance are there, I'm going to keep on mention, okay, what are the companies I come across, okay? And uh, some other groups, they are going to post different information like this JBML Auto, JBM Auto. I'm going to add JBM Auto also. Let me add JBM Auto. So it is just half an hour analysis which you are going to do daily. So it is always best. Whatever the information you are going to get on a weekly basis or monthly basis or daily basis, whenever you get an information for certain company, please add that company in watch list. Now five companies are there. Five companies are there. Now it is a time to do analysis. I'm ready to do, uh, tomorrow is Monday, market is going to come. I have 10,000 or 1 lakh or 50,000. The basic rule which we need to follow, whatever the investment, whatever the investment you are going to do, first rule, never invest. Entire amount, on one company. If you have 50K, 10K each, 10K each, choose five companies. Choose five companies. This is a better approach. And for example, you have uh, 10 lakhs, 10 lakhs. 10 lakh, 10k each means what it is going to happen. 10 lakhs means nearly 1000 list is going to come into picture. Your portfolio, whatever the portfolio, this holding is your portfolio. Your portfolio should not cross more than 30. 25 is a advisable. 20 is advisable, 25 is advisable. More than 25, it is very difficult to monitor. So if you have 10 lakhs, you need to distribute that amount within 25 companies, not 10K each. If you have 10 lakhs, better to have 30, 40K for each company. Like that, you can distribute, but never ever invest in one company. This is a basic rules. Next, choose sectors, choose one best or two best companies from each sector. For example, IT sector, in IT sector, the choose best, 
Wipro, Infosys, Tata, Alexi, Tata Tech, HCL Tech. You have to add the watch list in here. Whatever the watch list you are going to add, you need to watch list for sector wise. For petroleum, petroleum, Indian Oil Corporation is there, HP is there, Bharat Petroleum is there. So you need to choose sector wise. If you are selecting 25 companies, the 25 companies from each sector, one, one company. Never ever invest your entire amount in one sector. Okay. So amount must be distributed across. Okay. Now back to that analysis. Now the Tata power is good or not. How to do analysis. As soon as you click on this Tata power, you will find as soon as you move the mouse, you will find graph information here you i'm seeing this as soon as moving the mouse that is a chart analysis symbol representation if you want to open click on this chart analysis automatically the chart is going to come over here this is the chart analysis without analyzing the chart never ever invest in any company even if you select sector wise even if you select the best also Never ever enter invest your money without analyzing, without understanding this chart pattern. Okay, I'm going to remove this, whatever the lines you are able to see, I'm going to remove. <clears throat> as soon as you click on that, the chart, whatever the DMAT account you are going to view you are going to get the same chart analysis okay this line also whatever the line horizontal vertical line you are going to get i am removing that also now line is not coming within the window you are going to get chart if you want to a separate window in the same tata power instead of clicking on this icon there is a three dots there click on the three dots there is a symbol open a new window click on that the same chart will come into bigger window okay now here what is the analysis we need to do what is the analysis we need to do first of all understanding this candle whatever you are able to see green and red the red ones are or green ones are we are going to call it as a candle Whatever the green red candle, currently you are able to see that red candle. Now, if you move the mouse on this particular red candle, on the interval, this candle interval, what is this candle interval? You are going to come to an understanding this candle interval represents what duration? Is it a five minutes or is it a one day or is it a month or hours what is the duration each candle either red or green only red and green will be there and the thickness will be there someone you can see that uh, light line is there thick line is there what is the light line thick line we are going to discuss first of all the entire starting to end this entire will represent as a candle now what is the duration you can see here in this every graph, in every graph, you can understand in every graph, you can understand here what is this? This is a duration window. You can see this is a 1D. 1D means one day, represents one day. If I click on that respect to place, I can change this chart analysis one minute, two minutes, three minutes like that. You can see that one day, one week, one month like that. Which one is the best? Whoever planning to invest in a short term or long term, 
for them the chart analysis should be day interval only not any other one whoever do planning to do a short term or long term i am not going to talk about any other thing we are talking about only short term and long term only so we need to choose day interval as soon as day interval selected whatever the candles we are going to see you are able to see candles that each candle represents one day so in that respective day what is a starting point what is a end what is a starting point what is a end point that is it is going to represent variation of the price in respect to day so we are in this particular chart analysis now i am going to add a horizontal line vertical line this is the graph analysis you will find this menus in every dmat account you will find this information somewhere else in the chart analysis you need to find out okay now i would like to add uh, i would like to see this particular candle what date it is and what price variation it is it is very difficult to, to move the mouse like this and understand what price and what date so in every dmat account you will find horizontal and vertical line alignment see here in this zero the you will find plus mark here i am going to click on that plus mark as soon as you plus mark your mouse horizontal vertical line comes in picture for example in this particular day if this red candle is there what is the date you can see the bottom line you will find the date that is a vertical line represents a date that is fourth sixth month june fourth in june fourth the price variation of tata power between 458 until this end of the candle 371 to 458 that means nearly 75 points variation in the only in one day 75 points variation okay so we are able to understand what is a variation what is a chart pattern what is a candle what is a interval we need to do now as per our analysis when to enter when to invest never ever enter in any stock at high value our basic rule is better to enter at lower value okay if you minimize this graph there is a plus and minus symbol is there you can do that also here plus and minus symbol is there you can minimize and expand also or else on the mouse you will find the cursor mouse scroller is there in the mouse scroller i am doing mouse scroller so that i can increase or decrease the graph so at least minimize the graph at the bottom of at least you can see 6 months duration at least 6 months duration now can anyone tell me this is a 6 months duration whatever you are able to see 2024 to until august currently we are in 2024 this is a 6 months duration or 8 months duration this is better this is a sufficient or else you can see that at least one year if the meeting is going to close i am going to start again with the same link you can start okay if the meeting is close you can join again with the same link it is always best at least 6 to 1 year duration you can see that how the chart analysis is working how the chart what is the price of one year before what is the price now if you would have invest in 2023 the same month of august the price value is this much 250 rupees tata power 
Now, what is the Tata power value after one year with the same duration? Current value is 450. That means within a one year, your amount is double. This is only works in long term. This double or triple or four times, whatever it may be. If you invest in a fundamental stock, your amount will be double or triple also sometimes. But it is not for all stocks. Now, how to understand this Tata Power is a good or bad company? We no need to go company and look at the company and all those things. Tata means it is well-known company. But still, we need to do some our analysis is our money. Simply, we should not invest without looking anything. Okay, so how to do analysis? Now, as per you look at, can anyone tell me, is it a low to high category or is it running at high category in past six months? In past six months, is it uh, trading at high or is it trading at low? Compare in last six months chart analysis, six months. That means this is a six months. Can anyone tell me, is it low to high or going down? Are you able to understand? Yes, yeah. it's low to high. Low to high or a low going low? It's from high to low. It is going for every share, whatever the stock market, whatever the trading account you are going to do, you need to observe. Compared to six months, I think it is low to high. But uh, I think in the short duration of three months, I think it is going only range bound, right? See, low to high. First of all, keep it aside, low to high. Now in this graph, you can see V shape or U shape for every action, there is a V or inverted V or inverted U. For a short term, who are doing short term? Whenever there is a, for every V shape, you need to be in this particular position. You need to be in this particular position for a short term guy. You need to be in this condition. Whenever in a U or a V shape, second leg, the starting point, you should be there. And you need to book profit whenever there is a possibility chance of going down. This is a chart analysis. What action we need to do? Even long term also similar principle is going to apply. When to enter, when to exit. For a short term, based on the profit, we'll speak fix a profit of 5 to 10 percent. Whenever it reaches 10 percent, better to exit. No need to wait for more profit. If you are long term, if it is going down, it is reaching a hard time high. If it is reaching hard time high and if it is going further in day analysis, it is in a day analysis, it reached the all time high. Now it is reached a certain level and you need to come to an understanding better to exit or continue based on the company. Now you understand right where to enter, where to hide. Now this is current rate is this one, current price, current date. Tomorrow Monday is the my trading date. I am doing analysis on this day. Now, is this right time to enter Monday? Is it a good to enter? By looking at this particular table, I can simply say that Tata Power is a standard company or bad company will come to an understanding. First of all, as per you can see that 
whenever there is a three green candles are there the three green candles that means whatever the candle pattern in a reverse v shape this is a reverse v shape right whenever you find one two three green candles now at this point it is better to enter even though it is going to come down as it is by looking at the graph i can say the tata power is not a category of low to high for a duration of six months this is not good for long term what is a low to high i'm going to share one more share where you are in a position to understand by minimizing this graph by minimizing this graph you can see this it is running at high it is not low to high it is not low to high it is running at high and for short term as it is coming down whenever it is bounced back and you can enter okay it is not a low to high category it is trading at high level at any point of time the share price if you are entering at 417 rupees after looking at three green candles for example you find three green candles as per our rule you find three green candles over here one two three oh three green candles better to exit enter at here no not at all if you enter at here high level you are not sure it is going to go up or going down if it is go up that's fine otherwise whatever the amount you invested you will not come out of because it is down from this particular point to this it is not depends upon company factor here this down factor whatever the factor it is coming it is not related to company as i said it is always the share market is always share changing the hands the shares changing the hands based on the goodwill even if war comes or anything comes the share price is not going to all of a sudden increase all of a sudden down okay so whenever you are doing an investment in any company please make sure choose a company fundamental company and i am going to discuss about in, in one more session once it is closed i am going to talk come to that point now here point is this is not a low to high never ever invest at high values we need to choose a low company standard company that standard company fundamental stock we say that what is a fundamental stock i am going to talk about the fundamental stock is the first rule and when to enter whenever low to high the low to high that is low to high this is a low to high for example this is low to high can be considered as a low to high because this is a high value and this will be become a low value for this particular time interval now we have to choose this particular point low to high bounce back this is low to high from low it is bouncing back to high position how much high it goes it depends upon the share price how the purchases or buyers are there based on that it is going to whenever you choose low to high okay you are not going to lose anything if you are invest at high value we are not sure some share price may go down but you are not going to loss but only thing is that your amount will be stuck 